Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about how to know if you should apologize. A lot of times we avoid apologizing because it's going to bring up the thing that we don't want to talk about. Or in a lot of situations, it really wasn't our fault. Maybe something happened and we of course didn't do it on purpose. And so we're questioning, should I really apologize for this? Well, today I'm going to give you four ways to know when you should apologize. Number one, always apologize if you have hurt someone's feelings or you've offended the other person. Now you may be thinking logically. You may think, well, I of course didn't mean to hurt their feelings or I can't believe they're so sensitive. And what you said logically maybe shouldn't have offended them or shouldn't have hurt their feelings. But when we come to feelings, when we come to people feeling offended or getting their feelings hurt, it's not logical. It really is all about emotions. And so if somebody is expressing that they were hurt by something that you said or did, then you always want to apologize for that. You don't necessarily have to always apologize for what you said or what you did, but to apologize that you hurt their feelings and to really practice some empathy in getting them to tell you what is it about the, the thing that you said or did that did upset them. And when you practice that empathy, chances are you're going to be able to understand more about where they're coming from. So many times people just want to feel heard. So you don't even necessarily have to agree with them, but to make sure that they feel heard and that you're really trying to understand is going to go a long way. Number two, it's always important to apologize even when you're trying to right the wrong that has been done. A lot of times, especially whenever we're, we've messed up or we're trying to make something right, sometimes we feel like, well, that's going to substitute an apology. For instance, think about, you know, you're, you're in a restaurant and a server has messed up your order and you let them know that. And then the server says, oh, sure, I'll go ahead and make this right. And so they make everything right. And maybe they even bring you a dessert because you've been inconvenienced. But to actually have the person say, I am sorry, goes a long way. So know that just because you're making something right doesn't mean that it's the same as an apology. When you apologize and you're making something right, it shows that you're taking that personal responsibility that you really do express remorse and you're trying to make it right. Now, before I get into number three, I want you to know that there are certain things that you should never apologize for. And I've got a video above and in the description below, so make sure and check that out. And number three, apologize when you're the reason for the mistake or the error or the oversight, even when it's not your fault. And by that, I mean, say for instance, you are going to meet someone and you're running late. You're running late because there was a wreck on the way. So it's not your fault that there was a wreck on the way and that's why you're late but still you have inconvenienced the other person. So to apologize and let them know that you're late and giving them the reason, not an excuse, but still apologizing. Just yesterday, a landscaper was working in our yard and cut our cable line. Well, obviously we know that he didn't do that on purpose. It was totally an accident. And, but the fact that he never apologized, the fact that he knows our cable line is cut and he said, I'll try to call the cable company to see if I can get it moving along faster, but never apologizing just made my husband and I feel a little like, does he not even feel any kind of remorse that we're inconvenienced? And the fourth way to know if you should apologize is if you wonder if you should apologize. If you have this little voice inside of you thinking, I wonder if I should apologize, even when you know that it's gonna be uncomfortable, or maybe even if it's something that happened quite a while back and it feels a little awkward now, if you're wondering whether or not you should apologize, 
then that is your answer. And if you're wanting to know the best way to apologize, what to say and what not to say, I've got a video above and in the description below that will help you out there. If you have liked this video, I hope you'll share it and subscribe to my channel.